Hi there, my name is Francisco Corbett. I'm 23 years old and I am a full-time artist here in Kingston. Originally I'm from Guatemala, but I was adopted and I've lived in Kingston here um, since I was five months old. And now that I'm 23, looking back on it, it's crazy to see like where I might have come from or how that impacts my art. And I think as I get older, I'll realize more and more how it, how it really impacts me. So I would say like I'm a performance artist, definitely. And that's like my medium. My paintings are a performance. When I do the shows, that's a medium, that's a performance. So performance art is definitely the medium that I choose to categorize myself under. And, but I like doing paintings because it's fast. It's fast. You can use spray paint. It goes on quick. And I like that. It's kind of changed over and over again, like what it means to be successful in my head. But I look at it very like what the painting I'm doing is it going to be successful is it gonna push me is it gonna challenge me is it going to put me at risk is it gonna take me out of my head is it going to just be different than the last painting um, risk challenge like that's what I'm, that's what I'm searching for that's what success to me is is like a challenge and, and beating the challenge and but also, but also, it doesn't have to be so competitional. It can be like making people happy, making myself happy, staying healthy. Yeah, that's that's what success is: just staying healthy and excited about everything. Where am I going? I don't know. I think a lot of the time, like that's the fun part. I don't really know a lot of the time where I'm going. I have an idea. I have like, oh, I want to make this. I want to do this. I want to do this series. I want to do this show when COVID is over. I want to do a lot of things, like I have a lot of ideas in my head. Um, I just want to continue making stuff forever. I want to continue to be a good father. I'm, I have a almost six-year-old kid now named Luca. Um, I want to continue who I am and just continue getting better and, and growing up. Growing up, I want to continue growing up. And uh, But I'd want to be like a, a great artist and I think I'm on my way to doing that. Well, I saw Jean-Michel Basquiat show in Toronto in 2015 and that was like really like life-changing in, in a way because I, I was just dropping out of high school I was just coming out of addiction I just had my kid all these massive things were happening and changing in my life and then I saw that my, my father was like hey look, look in the paper here there's an artist um, he's he's like he's a big he was a big artist he's passed away now and uh, and his work look at his work and it was incredible and obviously if you've seen Jean-Michel Basquiat or you know who Jean-Michel Basquiat is you know that what he was doing was one of a kind and just ingenious so I saw that show it changed everything and I really in that moment was like I want to commit myself to art not like I'm gonna be an artist because I think that's something you have to earn I earn that every day when I come into the studio. I earn that when I push myself and am a hard working person and when I like put my mind to something and complete it, I'm earning that title of an artist. I don't think anyone should really call themselves an artist unless you're going out and earning that. Because it's a serious thing as well as it is a really fun and beautiful thing. It doesn't mean that, you know, oh like you're not working a hundred percent all the time it doesn't mean you're an artist. It just means like no, you take it seriously for what it is. It's a gift and it's important that way. So I just committed myself to art after that show, but I remember I would be, <laughs> I would like buy a bottle of Jack Daniels and like, you know, just this romantic life of an artist in my old studio, in my bedroom. And, um, but I loved it, I loved it so much. But as I realized if I wanted to be serious about it and I wanted to be a good, great artist, then I needed to kind of recommit myself in a different way. And it wasn't really about the image of it all. It wasn't about yeah, how it appeared to people. It was about how I wanted to do it. So probably in the last like couple years have I been recommitting myself and and uh, definitely in the last couple like eight month period, year long period, have I recommitted myself again and again and again. Because I love it. Francisco Corbett uh, stands for doing art and being free. I believe that everybody should try art. I believe that everybody not everybody is great at art, but everyone should try some aspect of creativity. And in order to express yourself and feel more confident with yourself, I think it's important to realize that creativity in any sense of the word could be an avenue to freedom. It doesn't necessarily need to be painting, doesn't necessarily need to be fashion or music or art, um, uh, photography. Anything that could give you sanctuary would be allowing you to make you free. So that's what I would say. Where do you see Kingston's art scene in five years?
God, I hope it's fucking better. I hope it's so less boring. My God. Um, I could go on for fucking hours about this. Uh, so I put up a billboard that said Kingston isn't boring anymore. And I stood by that message, but in a different way than people were kind of like, be like, Kingston is not boring, like you're just not looking close enough. And I was like, no, 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 I'm saying I'm bored in Kingston. My life was boring until I started taking more action and doing things. So I hope that more people, more artists, creative people in Kingston, Queen students involved, I hope they can see this and see that if you just push fucking hard enough, then this thing can change, then we can change not necessarily Kingston, but we can change the way we view our life. We can have fun. Things can be exciting. Everything should be exciting, whether it's good or bad. Um, and truly all revolves around like, like, I just hope it isn't boring. I just hope it isn't boring anymore. What is next? I don't know, that's the fun part. Everything, everything you could possibly imagine, I want to put out there.